Welcome to Bloodbath TV. Today we review possibly the worst Bigfoot movie ever made, Terror at Bigfoot Pond. Is recommended by our top donator over on Patreon, Deke. He let us know right out the gate, this is gonna be a bad movie. I'm like, okay, well how bad can it be? I had the same reservations while watching Swamp Ape, a far superior film somehow. And here we are. This movie is a group of people getting together. One guy brings a bunch of GoPros is like, Hey guys, it's a reunion. Have a bunch of $600 GoPros. We got the 4K like black versions. 4K, hey, that's, that's like, like, that's like phones, right? right? They've got incredible zooms, which they don't, <laughs> as proven in this very film. And the, the most perfectly fitting headbands, as that one girl states. Guys, I like how it fits. Yeah. Oh yeah. You like it? Yeah, that's how I buy my pants. I get the waist size 28, hold it out like this. Oh yeah, these are gonna fit. Nice, I like how it fits. Now we're not purposely trying to discredit the filmmakers. They're out there, they're doing their thing, but it's bad. I don't want to die. Not like this. I can make it. The problem with this film is it significantly suffers from terrible technical filmmaking. Some of the basic things is how the shots are edited. If the sound guy with the boom mic is in the corner of the frame, so you know what they do? They crop the picture and it's just a black bar on the right. You don't need to do that. You can literally just zoom the picture in until he's out. Even if you did crop it out, move the fucking frame over so you don't see this big black bar. I wish this was an isolated situation, but it is not. This happens multiple times throughout the film where you just have black bars in areas where there's obviously like cars or people standing in the background. And sometimes they don't even try to block that guy out. That guy's there for a <laughs> long part of the movie. But then like you also have when they're trying to incorporate the night vision. So what they do is they have like a green image that they would put over top of the video. And what you're supposed to do is overlay it. But in this case, they overlaid it, but didn't stretch it to fit the full screen. So there's times where they're running around POV with this green rectangle dead center of the frame. Let's just get back to the basics of of what this movie is about. A group of friends are seemingly meeting up as a reunion to hang out. And it seems like two girls knew each other, but the rest didn't know each other. See, this is my theory behind this film. There actually is not a script. I feel like when they were casting characters, they went to an improv class and said, hey, is there seven people who wanna be in our horror movie? Sure enough, this entire film was improv. We also brought a cigarette I also uh, acquired. She was puffing on it and it smelled so freaking bad. And she was it coughing so bad. Oh, too. Yeah. I didn't even wanna try Ugh. it. They certainly knew what to conversation needed to get to, but nobody told them what to say. So they're just talking over each other. Hey, that's, like, that's, like, that's like phones, right? Yeah. That's like, oh my that's God, pretty yes. yeah. How big is that on a screen? Yeah. There's just a group of people that are trying to introduce each other. And then you start to catch like, wait a second. I thought this was a reunion. You know each other. This is established. That's why you bought them $600 GoPros. You got one for everybody. Oh shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. They're talking about like playing the drums. And like the girlfriend was like, here, let me introduce you to her. You guys. Oh <laughs> yeah, no, you don't miss out on your hug either. And this is my sweet honey, Darrell. Who's that? That's that. We've met before. Yeah, you just yeah, gave her a yeah, hug. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, a really you know. sweet. They're not even registering what they're even saying. You know what? The first thing we should do? Let's fucking get naked or half naked, most of us, and have a skinny dipping scene in this very small Bigfoot pond, which has nothing to do with the whole fucking movie, which is the title of the movie. And let's just throw in some more awkwardness by having one of the uh, GoProers stand in front of the camera for like 10 to 20 seconds holding his dick. That was a huge splash. That was a monster of a fish. First of all, only the dudes are naked except for one girl. Shout out. I thought she was awesome. She's probably the best actress in the entire movie and she looks like one of the Atomic Twins. One of my favorite streamers, check them out. But like, it's so fucking awkward because it only goes up to their like knees. And so they're all like crouching. They're, some of them are like covering themselves up. Like they didn't want to be here. They didn't want to do a nude scene. And it's awkward as fuck. Going more in depth with the nudity in this film, they go from dancing naked around the fire to a very uncomfortable sex scene. Um, Not an orgy, no. coupled off. Coupled off, everyone in their own little tents. But then it just somehow one-ups itself. You have awkward couples having sex in tents at night, another awkward couple having sex in the middle of the day on an inflatable mattress. Bigfoot literally kills a girl riding a guy during sex. 
And the cutaway shot that we get back to is him being like, babe, I'm gonna try and not be very graphic, but if I was ever fucking a girl, if she was suddenly dead and removed from my dick, I would notice. What the fuck, Karen? Babe? It's unbelievable to me that Bigfoot is the best part of this movie. I loved Bigfoot. The costume was amazing. He literally was Yogi Bear. He just wanted his picnic baskets. Was like stealing chicken. He literally did a splitter cell Sam Fisher shit. He threw a rock <laughs> into the other side of the camp. Hey, dude, what the, what the hell was that? And he's like, hey kids, go check that shit out. Well, I grab your chicken. And he just fucking snacked all day. It had unintentionally funny moments, but definitely Bigfoot was the best. Whether it was his pond or not, who fucking knows? But him himself is hilarious looking, and we appreciate it because it's a guy in a suit. Bigfoot was great. Yeah. I liked how he was just tiptoeing in his Jordans. Tiptoeing in my Jordans. So after the sex all happens, everyone's hanging out at the camp, then they start wandering, they start getting killed off, and then eventually we have poor Kelly. She looks like she's from The Descent. She's just hanging out in a cave with, with a night vision on. But before that, she grabs a flag, she puts it on like a bandana, takes way too long to do so. She finds some cave and she hangs out there. She just looks at the camera for a while. And in bringing this up, the most ridiculous thing happens. She literally gets captured by Big Bigfoot screams, help me, you let me go. He lets her go. And for the rest of the movie, the goddamn foot has a yellow headband on. I think the most ridiculous thing in the Kelly situation is she has her stick and to defend herself, she decides to make a weapon. And how do you make a weapon with a stick? You pull out your talon of a knife and you're like, I'm gonna use this to make a spear. My grandfather gave me this knife. And this will be the first time I have ever used it. You got a goddamn weapon in your hand. Use that instead of whittling away at a spear. Just slice them up with the talent. I don't think there's much more to say about this movie. I don't like being overly critical on bullshit movies because half of the time they know what they are. They're just like, I'm having fun. I'm making a movie with my friends. This movie did not seem like that. It seemed like nobody even wanted to talk to each other. In fact, one of the sex scenes, like they didn't even want to touch each other. When the Bigfoot tried to grab that one girl, he like backed off. Like, am I sexually harassing this woman? Like, and he just like walked away. It was fucking weird. There's a lot of weird shit about this movie. And I don't think there's a lot to like other than it's a guy in a costume. Before we move on, we need to talk about the final fight. So basically everybody's camping the whole time. And then eventually Kelly, our final girl, a pro Approaches our Bigfoot in an epic day to night battle that took multiple hours, judging by the editing. The way that it's cut together is absolute nonsense, and there's a lack of sound effects. Ah. Well, did she just hit him? Because I didn't feel that impact. Looking at this Bigfoot, he has blood on his face. And then it cuts back to her, and then it cuts back to him. I don't get it. Like the whole third act was god awful. Everyone's dead except for three people were like, there's 35 minutes left, how are they gonna do this? It was just POV running through the woods for 25 of that 35 minutes. Maybe even longer because there was no credits and the final scene lasted 30 seconds. Yeah, I mean, we had that Griff Garrison uh, fire scene, but that was 30 seconds and then they died off screen. Who the fuck is Griff Garrison? This is Griff Garrison! Usually we'd say what we are giving this, this is like 0.5 out of five. We've talked about it. There's no extra things in this movie to say like, oh, uh, 0.5 like signs at the beginning of the film or like there's nothing fun about this movie. So it's hard to choose an item. Usually we choose cool items. Nice. I like how it fits. Yeah. Oh yeah. You like it? What do you guys think of this movie? If you've seen it, let us know in the comments. Like this video. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with everything here on Bloodbath TV.